current skate park. Totally frozen over, but you can see that there's at least 10 users on a frosty morning when there's nobody in the sports cage down there. And that's wank loudness just to get my point across because you hear my voice clearly. And you can see the kids skating. I don't know what the fuck they're doing, but there you go. Behind me is a ginger tosser, Matt Davy. Modern spray concrete skate park, like a lot of the modern forward thinking fucktards around here have. We... Alright. Now we're going to speak to kids. As you can see, none of these screws are flush. If you hit these with your knees or your elbows, they're going to cut you deep. These are very dangerous. <laughs> 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 As you can see, these screws are not countersight. <laughs> oh, fucking hell! As you can see, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. the riding surface at any skateboard has to be smooth, but if you see here, it's got holes, there's splinters, it's almost like riding bark, it's almost unskatable. <laughs> <laughs> My name's Michael McGuinness. How long have you been skating? I've been skateboarding for five years. I think Hayson Skate Park is shit. <laughs> Fuck! Oh, this is really doing my head in. Uh, it's quite a health and safety hazard as well. Is it grippy? grippy, but when it's icy or slidey, it's just not the right surface for a skate park. Right. Is it, do you think it's big enough for the amount of people here? Yeah, I do think the skate park's big enough. It's just, yeah. Do you think like, the, where the lights are over the, the grass, would you like to see a bigger skate park? Or do you think this is enough space for the amount of what, BMX and skaters in line skaters and man drivers? I don't think this is enough space at all really, to be honest. I think they should extend that whole skate park back there. Ugh. On a wet, dewy day, the weather, I mean, on a wet, dewy day, the wood can be wet and like you can take it. Hi, I'm Jordan. Um, I've been skating three years. I'm 15 years old. I think if we got a new concrete skate park, it would boost the economy. And like, because it's, because BMXing is also skateboarding and BMXing is really popular in Hastings. It will just attract more people to skate and BMX. Uh, stop it there. I'm just getting a bit scared. Like they say, uh, Hastings is BMX capital for England. And if you look at the skate park, it's not that good. I mean, compared to other skate parks, like across England. It's really bad. The only concrete skate park we have near here is, well in East Sussex, is Hollington Bowl. And that's quite simple. So it easily gets boring. Whenever I go up, even if it's seven in the morning, just, or 12 o'clock at night, or whatever, you uh, there's always somebody up here. And I, I come up here quite recently, always quite regularly and it's always got somebody up there and I skate here almost every day in the summer and about every weekend like across all the way through the year and it's lacking that well the ground of this this black stuff isn't very good because it's <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I just call it the black stuff. So the locals and everything make more people skate, more people ride, etc. Oh, okay, wait, get them smackers out, right? Wait, smackers! Get out of fucking way! Cheers, guys. Alright. Alright. Because the standards of the skate park, like, more and more people are giving up. And if we get a better skate park, more and more people will carry on skateboarding. Because a lot of people are not skating anymore. And I think that's a bad thing because they might get into worse things like drugs and alcohol. 
I also believe if we get a concrete skate park, more and more people will come into Hastings. So that will boost the economy and malarkey. <laughs> 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 oh, just... right, because the skate park is so bad, we are forced to skate the town. And the town, we usually get tickets, and that gives us fines. So we have nowhere else to go. <laughs> yeah, that's good.